Julia here with Professional Tool Equipment News is Wrenching Roger, and I'm showing for the first time Easy Diag by Launch Diagnostics. It's the first ever scan tool to, to work on an Apple iPhone. Connected to this is simply the Apple iPhone to a Bluetooth, just connected to the diagnostic link connector. Now, usually you're buying a scan tool, and the software only works with that scan tool's interface, and it changes five years later, and you have a big, useless scan tool. And to update it, it's some confusing process that you don't know how to do. Well, with the launch, simply, it's like you download an app, you literally go to the app store, you write down Easy Diag, you download it and it's free, you get generic OBD2 for free, and then you pay a subscription for the individual car lines that you want, and that's it. Here we have a 2008 Hyundai Elantra, and I have access to not all these other launchers over to connect to it from Hyundai, but all the different modules in this car. PCM, obviously, transmission computer, SRS, BCM, here anti-lock brakes. Now if I click read trouble codes, it actually goes to the module and it found that I had a C1203 for a front right sensor, open or short, because someone was doing a wheel bearing on this car and broke the sensor when they're doing it. They're tough on these Hondas, so if you ever do a bearing, keep that in mind. You might want to sell the customer on a sensor as well. So I could simply see the code, write it down, if I wanted to diagnose it, I would simply go to data stream, but because I don't want to make this video too long, I'm going to clear the code. Okay, key on engine off, and look, I have that done already. Click yes. Are you sure you want the race to trouble code? Well, yeah. So we do that, and erase succeeded. So. Again, it only works as a code scanner now, and to look at parameters, you can look at mode sticks and other things in generic OBD2, but it doesn't presently do adaptations, relearns, it does not do um, bi-directional controls. So this tool, for a cheap price, is a very good code scanner so you can reference tools and run some tests, but without doing bi-directional controls. And the reason I bring that up is something that the tool is actually capable of doing, but the software doesn't yet support it. This is really the future of diagnostics because eventually we're not all going to be buying different scan tools. We're going to be buying apps for our cell phones and buying the software for those apps. So good job from launch. Wrench and Roger signing out.